So I was adopted when I was a year old, so I was really young. And it was really cool because being adopted, I always knew that my parents had chosen me. And on the flip side of that, I sometimes would wonder what, what I did or didn't do that made my biological parents not want me. So growing up, that kind of affected me because I wanted to prove that I had value and prove that I was worth the sacrifice that they had made to come over and bring me into their family. I always kind of knew who God was from a young age and kind of relating back to how I would try to earn my worth and perform well so that people would like me, I then translated that on to God. And it took a while for the idea of like Christ's sacrifice to even sink in. When I was in eighth grade, I started coming to youth group more consistently. One of the volunteers, um, Danny, like approached me and was really persistent in coming and talking to me. She began to like mentor me and it, I realized like I have nothing to offer her and yet she's here anyway. So she invited me to go to camp with the youth group to student life camp and the theme was set apart, which is something that is kind of just stuck with me. This idea of really being chosen. And um, it was during camp and during those conversations where I just, um, a specific conversation where I was just like pouring my heart out and strangely enough, it was in that moment where I realized how broken I was. Um, that was the moment that I realized the magnitude of God loving me and God sending Jesus for me in the middle of my brokenness. So Danny definitely played a large part in getting me to camp. And she's the one who actually encouraged me to get involved in um, our mile two or the student leadership. So I started getting more involved in that and I would just do things behind the scenes. But it was so awesome to be able to serve and feel like I was kind of giving back to the youth ministry that really had done so much for me and the people had done so much for me. When Danny moved to Colorado, that was obviously um, very sad and I still miss her a lot. And it was um, really hard to have her leave, but like just realizing how important God's call is. And I went from a place of like never imagining her being able to like leave and me being okay to realizing I couldn't imagine her staying if God had, has called her to go to Colorado. I can't imagine that she would stay and not listen to him. And it just made me realize how far I'd come which was nice encouragement because sometimes I tend to focus on what I'm not doing well in or how I'm falling short or how I'm still struggling or how I'm relapsing back into trying to earn my worth. But just to take a moment and pause and look and say, wow, I'm not that same person. Kind of God just showing me that, look, I have been working and you're still growing. And even though there's still a lot of things that you're working on, there has been a lot of growth as well. I am Carrie Cantrell, and I am Community of Hope.